When we are sick, we take drugs that our doctor prescribes to us, and we hope that as soon as we take them, we'll be healthy again. We don't bother with questions such as, isn't this pill the substance that is written on the package? Since we know that someone checked it already and made sure that everything about it is fine. Now, let's break a pill into pieces. What does one pill consist of? First, there is the active substance. It is the hero of our story who does all the hard work of curing our body. He has friends, of course, friends who support him. These friends are additional substances who create good conditions for our hero. But our hero can also have enemies, such as inadequate additional substances and dirt substances. So, how do pharmacists know if they are using the right active and additional substances and that the purity of the drug is within certain values? They need to identify them somehow. Drugs contain billions of molecules. Molecules are made of atoms and every atom has a nucleus inside. If we apply a magnetic field, then the nucleus will spin around itself and that spinning motion will give us valuable information about the molecule and the drug itself. The technique that is used here is called nuclear magnetic resonance or NMR. Two-dimensional NMR has big advantages over one-dimensional NMR, but the most important is that it gives us more information about molecules, even their geometry. By giving us this information, we can without doubt identify substances of our interest and be able to do experiments that would be impossible to do with our bare eyes. The goal of my thesis is using the newest studies to present the importance of 2D NMR technique in analyzing new active substances in pharmaceutical industry and controlling the contamination of active substance and final products. Speaking of never discovered substances, there is a lot of them out there. 2D NMR technique gives pharmacists a chance to discover new substances and to improve existing drugs. That will result in better treatment for patients, which is what every healthcare worker aims for.